Howdy fellow YouTubers, my name is Bo. I'm straight and today we are playing No Man's Sky, a game that I like to play, usually not make videos about, but both Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 are updating right now, so I don't really have a choice. It's a game that I enjoy playing not being recorded because it's not really that interesting. It's just one of those chill games like Minecraft or something like that where I'll play for hours on end and get almost nothing done. It's fantastic. But today I'm playing on survival, which everything is just kind of ramped up a little bit. Uh, stuff costs more resources and stuff. And today I want to focus on getting a galactic trade terminal in my base. For those of you that don't know this game just got a massive update maybe maybe not massive but it did get a big update where now you can have bases on planets and the way that you can kind of make money now is you can create these uh farming thingamajiggies they're they're a uh, morite or something like that our carrion root is what they're called and you plant a whole bunch of those and then you can craft lubricants god knows what the aliens are doing with the lubricants but you can craft the lubricants and they sell for like 40,000 credits a piece and they also added freighters to the game and the beginning freighter that I'm looking at is going to be like 15 million credits and so it would really help with getting a whole bunch of money to have one of those trade terminals in my base so I can go pick plants, craft into lubricants and then sell it and then just kind of do that over and over until I get 10 million credits. 15 million. I don't know. It's a lot of credits. Ooh, is that a water planet? Woo! Connecting to Terminus! Don't forget to drink your water, kids, because it's good for you. Okay, so we're at my base, and this is actually one of the planets that was in the system that I started at. So if we walk over here, and there there was a glitch with uh, these clipping through the ground and it not counting as inside, so I had to detach it from, from the base over here. We're going to go ahead and save. So if we walk in here, you'll see all of my curry and roots and some albumin pearls, but these are all of the things that make all of the money in the game. And as of now, I basically have to pick them and then go to space and sell them up there. And the objective is to pick them here and then sell them here and then pick them here and then sell them here. It's kind of boring, but if you want to get like an awesome freighter with like a lot of slots for inventory and stuff, then you got to pay. There was actually some speculation around that whether or not one of the next updates you're going to actually be able to earn one. So I don't know about that. But uh, as of now, the main focus is to get one of these thingies built. Where is it? It is this. This is a galactic trade terminal. I'm going to slap it on this wall right here. We need six voltic cells, 500 emerald, and 10 circuit boards. So if we come to my inventory and we hit craft product recipe, we will see circuit boards require one non-ferrous plate and one copper wire. So non-ferrous plate is 50 condensium and 20 antrium. I have an intense amount of antrium because that's kind of everywhere on every planet in caves and stuff. And then condensium you can only get from certain planets, but because of the new crafting stuff, I can now craft it. And let's see how much I have in my little storage container. That's the wrong one. How much do I have in my storage container? I have 284. Let me go pick these crops up. I have the uh, cor Corizagans here they produce the glass stuff and we come up here this is where the condensium is let's go ahead and pick these stupid plants call my ship to my landing pad there we go so with the amount of resources that i have right now i have enough to make six circuit boards so that's not a problem the only thing that we don't have is emerald if we come to this one right here you'll notice my emerald count is at 70. so the goal for today is to go to a planet that has emerald on it and me go mine it. We're gonna grab some carbon from my carbon stores, I guess. That's what I'm gonna call it. Uh, usually two stacks of iron or uh, uh, carbon is enough to, to be able to do anything kind of significant. And let's go ahead and empty my starship of stuff. I'm full on my starship. Well, all right, all we gotta do is find a planet with emerald, which I'm pretty sure there's one in the system that I'm in now. So let's go to my ship. So this planet's actually the second planet that I settled on. 
And the first planet that I settled on, the reason I settled there is because they had emerald and a lot of it. So I'm pretty sure that that planet over there is the one that I had started with. And yes, it does have emerald. So let's go ahead and go there. And you can see that there's already two beacons on that planet that I placed there because I was on that planet for so long. I marked some key places of interest. So we're going to go check those out and see if there's any emerald around there. Usually I only place beacons where there's landing pads because in survival, which is what I'm in now, it requires an intense amount of plutonium plutonium to take off it takes 200 plutonium which out of a single resource deposit you'll get like 50 so you got to find at least four of those just to be even a, just to be able to, to, to damn it, just to be able to take off of the of the, the, the we're actually running low on our pulse engines so we recharge it with iron it's great irons everywhere on every single planet in this game we're getting there it's taking its sweet time ain't it <sighs> now if there's one thing that i remember about this planet is that it has a, a toxic environment and so we're gonna go ahead and dismantle these aeration ones and install the radiation actually I don't remember if it's radiation or toxic we'll find out when we get there whether or not I just wasted some resources or not there's a landing pad here and I don't have to waste resources oh look at that see all that green stuff oh that's emerald emerald no longer stacks in uh, towers anymore it gets sunk into the ground and hit the land button BAM we have landed on a planet with emerald dang it it's not radiation it's toxin alright dismantle toxin suppression alright and then I got some shielding plates uh, may want to do that somewhere else you can save at these little points alright so oh, there's some plutonium we need that you always need plutonium remember that kids oh there's a hostile animal. Get away from me, you little turd! Awesome, there's platinum at the resource. You use platinum to create the shield charges, which is used to, to charge up my toxin ability. I don't know what it's called. Ability? Suppressive? I don't know. And now we mine. And we're done with this deposit, so let's check and see how much we have. We have 753? 750 three that is plenty and it's also plenty enough for future projects maybe not plenty for future projects but for the sake of the video let's go ahead and get off this stupid planet all right so something that i did notice is that we were getting scanned by pirates before we came in or we, or there was a, a system event that was about to happen so we will see if we have to deal with pirates here soon i could avoid them but pirates make for a good video so okay it's a local distress signal i'm not too worried about that all right let's see if we can go help these guys out we're gonna try Recharge my shields. And let's recharge my shields again. Woo! <laughs> recharge my shields. We got two more. Recharge. Oh, I want that right there. Hang on. Ah! Stop shooting me! I will murder you! Bam, bitch! That's what I thought. For example, let me show you how much this freighter would cost to own. Oh, because I saved a ship, he wants to give me something. Let's see how much your freighter costs first. Oh my gosh, 15 million? Are you kidding me? I'll take those supplies, though. Are you still offering those supplies? That'd be great. I will take the supplies. You get the supplies. What did I get? 17,000 credits? Woo. Oh, titanium. That's not bad. Oh, Chris and I got that bad either. Oh, an antimatter. Oh, snap. Those are used to make warp cells. That was, some, that was a pretty good haul. I'm pretty sure that if I destroyed like this thing I'd get a lot more stuff but you know I'm not a bad guy <laughs> okay let's go home 
We have landed back at the base. Let's go ahead and go build that thingamajiggy that I was talking about. So the reason that I was excited for a water world there at the beginning of the game or the, the beginning of the video i would say is because that's where you get this stuff the rigogen you get it in clumps of five and there it's you got to spend a lot of time on a water world to be able to get 337. we're gonna go ahead and grab the condensium and the antrium Kabloosh. so we now have a galactic trade terminal awesome we can buy stuff what it's not Great stuff, but it is stuff. All right, we did what we accomplished. I'm gonna show you how much one harvest can actually net you. Right now I have 75 of these Mordite or Carrion Root uh, thingamajiggies. So we will see how much money we can get out of that. Okay, so that netted us almost a thousand more dice. So let's go ahead and craft that into lubricant. Okay, now I'm just gonna transfer these to my ship so that I can actually have room to craft more. And that's all we have. We have six more dice left, and we're gonna transfer this back to the ship so that we can see how much we get out of one run. Aw, oh, crap, you can't, you can't select your ship's inventory. That sucks, balls. So let's see, by selling 18, I get 683,000 credits. Actually, it's called units in this game, so that'll push me over 5 million. And 227,000, so that puts me somewhere around 900,000, if I'm not mistaken. And this is actually not a great place to, to, to sell them, this system specifically, because they sell at a negative 2.8%, so that kind of sucks, but... I don't have to leave to do it. I can just wait here until they all come back. And you see, they're already halfway done with their cycle. They only take six minutes to come back. And I'll probably plant a few more over here. And not to mention, I can sell these albumin pearls, which sell for like 27,000 a piece. So that's awesome. So there's an extra 80,000 on top of what I already had. So that's great. And one of the reasons you don't have an entire place filled with these is because one, these take forever to grow. And two, they don't stack in your inventory as much. Uh, I would like to have an entire warehouse filled with them but they take so many resources to make you need an al or you need three albumin pearls and 20 rigogen which is the stuff that you have to get from water planets which is really difficult to get and it just takes a lot of time and effort to go out and actually get it so that uh that that does suck but yeah my farm is now pretty much complete there's there's not much else i can do to it other than you know farm credits and and get freighters so you know screw all the other stuff in the game, you know, I just want to farm. It's great. I do wish that they had a better inventory system because doing it the way that you are doing it or that I'm doing it and the majority of people should do it is very cumbersome because you got to hit square and then you got to hit right on this and then you got to craft it and it, it, you know, it's like there's just so many button pushes and making one thing that it, it is very cumbersome and I wish that they would change that, but this, this is great. I can now get like a million credits every six minutes. It's fantastic. I look forward to actually owning a freighter and not just looking at them. That'd be perfect. And once you do get a freighter, you can build a, a basically space, you know, a, a space farm. And that would be really cool. So now they're all coming back and, and I'm going to pick them right as they're... They're coming up. This is going to be great. It's fantastic. Now, what I'll do for the rest of my days in this game is just farm. If you made it this part of the video, please put the word Sifadis. This dude's name in your comment in the comment section below so that I know that you watched the video all the way to the end. And as best you are and subscriber ever, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really, let me my channel out. That is all.